All right, we're still thinking about a little bit more formal math here regarding relations and functions, and we'll look at a challenge in a real-world connection. So here's the scenario. You're about to take your final exam in Algebra 1. In the four tests you've taken so far, so you've taken four, you've gotten the following scores. 80, 72, 88, 95. You're interested in finishing the class with an overall average of 85 or higher, so maybe a B or a B plus. All five exams will be equally weighted. So we want to determine a function rule and create a graph with the x variable representing your score on the final exam. That's important to remember. And the y variable representing your overall class grade. Okay. So sometimes you might think the final exam is going to, going to be higher weighted, have a higher weight to it. But here it looks like it doesn't. It looks like it's going to be the same weight as the other four that you've taken. Um, let's see here, y variable is your overall class grade, and then evaluate your function rule for a few different values of x. So it looks like we already have our x and y variables defined for us, and that's nice. I think we need to just remember what the rule for averages is. So we're going to take, or our teacher will take, all of these grades, add them together, including x for the final exam, and divide by 5. And that's going to equal y. Okay, But in the spirit of studying functions and function notation, we could also call that f of x. Okay, So we can think of our input variable as being whatever we get on the final exam, and the output variable, f of x, being our final overall grade. I'm going to do a little bit of simplifying here, and let's sum those numbers up that we have. So I get f of x is equal to 335 plus x all over 5. And we can simplify that a little bit more. I'm going to rearrange things and separate it out into two different pieces f of x equals 1 fifth x plus 67. The 335 divided by 5 gave us the 67. So it would be our final function equation, our final function rule. I'm going to actually graph this on Desmos in a second. But let's think about what this means. It looks like, let's actually evaluate a little bit, a little bit of it first. I'm going to um, plug in, let's see. I always like to think about maybe some extreme values here. What's the worst that could happen on our final exam? We get a zero. Maybe we get a 50. Maybe we get a 100. Let's plug in that sort of whole wide range. And y, and again, let's actually call this f of x just to be a little bit more formal with our notation. So if we get a zero on the final exam, we get a 67 overall. If we get a 50 on the final exam, 1 fifth times 50 is 10. We get a 77 overall. And if we ace the final exam, we're going to get an 87 overall. So it looks like we have the possibility of getting our 85 or higher, but we've evaluated a few, a few different values of x. Let's go ahead and go to Desmos real quick and um, graph that up. OK, so we have. What was it? it? Was y or f of x? Decimals can take both or either. Y equals one fifth x plus sixty-seven. So let's zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so you can see on the y-axis that. Our scale goes from 0 to 100, and let's get a little better scale here. And our x-axis it does as well, because those are the meaningful bounds of the domain and range. So for this line, the domain and range is all real numbers. It keeps going left and right and up and down forever. But in terms of a meaningful domain and, domain and range, the most we could get is 0, or the most we could get is 100, the least we could get is 0. And this is just plotting how. Um, what, how our um, 
values change depending on how we do. So let's see if we get a 50 on the final exam. There's the 77 we get in the class as a whole. And if we get 100 on the final exam, there's the 87 right there. Okay. I, I think it's nice to graph just a y equals 85. That was our goal here. We want an 85 in the final, final grade. So it looks like what we need to do is get a 90% on the final exam to be able to get an 85 overall in the class. Okay, so let's add that to our table. So if we get a 90, we'll get an 85 overall. Okay, let's hope we do it. That's a good place to stop right there.